with the tens of thousands of dock workers who walked off the job just after midnight. The strike threatens the nation's supply chains, could lead to higher prices, possible shortages. Ports from Maine to Texas are impacted. I want to go back to Elizabeth Schulze at the Port of New York in New Jersey. Good morning, Elizabeth. Hey, good morning, George. And this is the first time in nearly 50 years that tens of thousands of those union dock workers Workers reports all along the east and Gulf Coast have gone on strike. Workers here told us they showed up just at midnight when the International Longshoremen's Association announced the strike and the union's president says they will not leave until they get a fair deal. So despite these 11th hour negotiations, there was not a deal between the U.S. Maritime Alliance and the union over a six-year contract. The union wants a 77% wage increase, limits on the use of automated machines. The alliance has responded with a nearly 50% pay hike. So what this means is that 14 ports that handle more than half of cargo that come into the U.S. are now at a virtual standstill. So that means products like groceries, clothes, machinery will not be loaded on or off container ships. This strike really could be crippling for the U.S. economy, depending on how long it lasts. A week-long strike expected to cost $7.5 billion. Many companies have been stockpiling and rerouting their shipments to West Coast ports to make sure that their shelves are stocked ahead of the holiday shopping season. But every day that this strike goes on, it could take six days to clear the backlog. The White House says that it is closely working with both parties to try to negotiate a deal fairly and quickly. Michael. Yes, yeah, a little bit, a lot of disruption there. Thank you so much for that.